I'm gonna help with this CGI installation. So what you wanna do, you wanna go to your browser, you wanna go download Python, and then you download your Python. So you download your Python just using this link. I have already downloaded Python, so I'm not gonna download it. So mine is at, in my downloads. So this is my download, so this is Python. What you wanna do, you wanna run Python. And then you wanna uninstall Python. So you are uninstalling Python. Because it's not properly installed, so you need to remove it. If, if you don't have Python, then you can just install it. But if you do have Python, you need to uninstall it. So when it's done, then come back. So Python is done. It's done uninstalling. So I'm gonna close. And run Python again. You don't wanna use this option, so you wanna use this option. Make sure you click Add Path 7 So this is gonna be customized. Installation, then make sure everything is set here. The next, and then you, you wanna set the path so you wanna remove all this, so remove that, and then leave only this. So say install, and then when it's done installing, I'm gonna be back. So, and then installation is successful. You wanna close this and you wanna go to your C drive. So what you wanna do you wanna go to your C drive, which is this drive here. So this is a C drive as you can see it's a C. So you're gonna notice that this is this folder that's what we were installing. So what you wanna do you wanna take your www folder which is this folder and take it and put it where where python is so you wanna put it just here as you can see i've already put mine here so you wanna put it just where python is okay and then from here what you wanna do you wanna Double click, wanna click and right click, then edit. And what you wanna do, you wanna change this to, to 7. So yours will be 5, so what you wanna change it to, to 7. And then you say file, and then you save. Then you close this, and once you've done that, then you can run this. The reason why you're putting it to 7 is because there's a 7 here. Just a folder, so it's a folder name with the seven, so that's why we changing that seven. So, what you're gonna do, you wanna run this when you run that, it's gonna say localhost server started. So, you don't wanna close this, you just wanna minimize it, and then what you wanna do, you wanna run this this file, but you wanna run it directly so you go to your browser and inside and so you go with so that's what we're doing so we, what we're doing here is we're saying HTTPS localhost 800 word form dot html which is exactly this file so when I run it, what you want to do in the presenter and then it's gonna run this so what you want to do, you want to put whatever word you want to put there just gonna put my name and then you submit so this is all happening because of that server without the server it wouldn't work so as you can see so what happens is that this file is called so this file 
put this on the screen and also create this this text if you notice that there is this text this text was not here so basically this text will have the same name which is behind which is the same name I, I did so that's how you configure this thing so now it works so that's how you do it <laughs>